make sure that any student that needs this, of course, is a given that we must be computer excellent. EDP team, Entrepreneurship Development Program, is a peculiar to a tertiary institution. We observe that the students are from various backgrounds. And we started by giving them a wide variety of education. I'm quite happy with the uh, uh, teaching. And, uh, I'm happy with the learning of the students. Our school is located in a serene environment that is secured with uh, security personnel fully armed. Kunak International School, KIS, is a fully based ICT core educational institution situated in Oshobo, Oshun State, Nigeria. It is located in a serene and conducive learning environment with a state of the heart facilities. Language learning is a serious business at Kunak International School, our students are exposed to German and French in addition to English and Nigeria local languages. It is a revolutionary preschool, junior school and middle high school in Nigeria. The institution was established with the sole aim of raising peculiar treasures in a very secure environment through qualitative education funded on hard work, love and discipline. Its hostel facility is second to none with two to four students in a fully air-conditioned room. A revolution in educational development in Nigeria is here with us. An initiative to raise world leaders in all spheres of human endeavors has incubated. Kunak International School, KIS, a core educational institution located in Oshobo, Osho State, offers you a vision of providing peculiar people, differentiated by excellence and high moral values. KIS is committed to the development of a total child, world-class education, integrity, ethics, high moral standards, stewardship, merit-based achievement, and excellence. Kunak parents train instructors that offer every child a unique experience of leadership in our body and decor educational school. Our state of the heart facilities include well equipped laboratories, e library, beautiful hostels and classrooms, serene environment conducive for learning, school cleaning, swimming pool, poultry farm, fish pond, and recreational facilities. Kunai Kushogo, with fully equipped CBT center, is affiliated with Canadian Delta School District in Vancouver. And know the golden opportunity is there for proud parents who are ready to raise world class leaders. Admission into Kunai Pre Junior and High Schools is now on at Kunai. Racing Peculiar Treasures is our mission. Kunai International School Nigeria has a general vision to be the leading provider of qualitative education in Africa with a view to releasing peculiar people differentiated by excellence to meet global challenges and make meaningful contributions to their generation. The director, Kunai International School Oshogo, Nigeria, Barrister Adekunle Victor Amos speaks on the evolution, vision, mission, and core values of the Great Citadel of Learning. KIS is committed to integrity, ethics, high moral standard, merit-based achievement, and excellence. Kunai International School Ushubu believes in the dignity and potentials of every student and all tenaciously to the opinion that to be born black is not synonymous to backwardness. The visioner believes that provision of sound and qualitative education is non-negotiable for a child, irrespective of color or gender. When you're building a school, you're building a nation. You're building the future of a nation. You're building the future of a race. You're building the future of a continent as it were, and you are building the vision of the world. So basically, 
Ours is not an ambition. It is really a vision-driven thing. Now, um, if I want to say for that, what do I mean by building a nation and all that? The I had a little bit of some privileges of uh, traveling around and all that, and I look at the kind of schools that we have in this country. And the basic education as it were, we think it does not really matter, we can have anything there, anything goes. And I just felt, principally, we need to make a difference. And again, one other driving force, which was a vision, is that the fact that you are born black or you are an African man, is not synonymous with backwardness. It's not synonymous with lack of good things. So we looked at that uh, things from that perspective and we felt, look, we should be able to give our African race an education that is universally acceptable. And in doing that, we look at the things that are lacking in the other schools that you may see around. And we told ourselves and said, look, we want to have what we call a peculiar treasure. People that will be differentiated with any other thing. We're not just talking about results, passing exams and all that alone. We wanted to build a nation, we want to build a people, we want to build a nation, we want to build a continent in Africa. And that is one of the driving uh, factors. And some of the questions some people will ask me when they come to Kunaiki is, why do you spend so much in having this kind of infrastructure? Why do you want, to, why do you have this so much facilities in your classroom and your environment and all that? We believe that for you to have a good education, the environment must also speak for it. We want to give our students the kind of opportunity that we think is available anywhere in the world so that they don't feel inferior to whoever, wherever they are. One of the interesting features of this top institution is that it is currently in partnership with seven Canadian governments owned high schools in Delta School District, in British Columbia, Vancouver, Canada. In addition to obtaining West African School Certificate, IGCSE, SAT, etc., interested KIS students could be moved to Canada to study for a year and graduate with BC Diploma, which is a qualification for admission into any of the Canadian or United States University. By the grace of God, I've been in certain countries and all that. I don't just want to go into those details. And I look at where the education today is in the world, that we have everybody, the drive of good education in worldwide now is Canada. And we decided to do something that, look, we have some limitation in Africa. There is, we cannot deny that fact. We are still a developing continent. And we discovered that, look, what can we do to make these students really global students, peculiar treasures they find, and we drove ourselves into having exchanges and partnership abroad. As a matter of course, what the advantage we have in the whole of Africa is we were the first to host African flag in Vancouver, in the district Columbia, Vancouver. We, and the peculiarity again about, the, uh, about Konek International School is that we are the only school, as I speak to you today in the whole of Africa, that has an agreement. Let me repeat. We are the only school in the whole of Africa today that has an agreement with the government of Canada. That is the District Columbia, the, the Delta District Columbia. We are the only school in the whole of Africa that has an agreement with them. And what actually brought this on? The Canadian ambassador visited our school. He was looking for a school to visit outside Lagos, Nigeria. And somebody told him, why don't you try Kunaik International School? Of course, when you get to the road that leads to Kunaik International School, you may not like it. And he began to talk to us, why don't you partner with our country so that you have air change programs and all that? And that was the beginning of it. The ambassador, the then, um, Ma, what can, Marcello, well, well, decided to write to their own government that there is a school in Africa that has the kind of infrastructure, if not even better. So we were the first, you can find out, in the whole of Africa, we are the first that had, 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 currently have an agreement that will span for the next 15 years to bring African students to Canada. Kunaik International School, KIS Ushogo, Nigeria, teaches high moral standard, community service, and encourages the teaching of participatory leadership values 
to every pupil and student. The school parades a team of dedicated trained caregivers and teachers committed to the mission and vision of the institution. The school's academic year commences in September to July. Interested KIS students in the first week of July yearly go to Canada for six weeks academic and summer learning program and holiday. Mrs. Olanike Adekule is the proprietress of Kunaik International School, Oshobo. She bears a mind on the entrepreneurship development curricula of the school and Kunaik as an accredited CBT center. Kunaik, like any other school around here, if you look at the, the EDP thing, Entrepreneurship Development Program, is uh, peculiar to tertiary institutions. But we just felt, why give a child certificate alone? And that is why we brought that also into this uh, school. So that the child graduates not only with YX certificate or NECO certificate or IDCSC certificate, but also goes home with a skill. Here we teach our children how to sew. We teach them catering and crafts. We teach them how to wear uh, birds, that is boiler, cockerel and all that. We also have fishery. So when the child graduates, it's not going home with only certificate, it's going home with a particular skill. We teach them how to make hair, how to tie gele in the fashion world. These days people go around tying their gele. So you realize that this child goes home with a skill that even if the job is not readily there, he has something to do. So that is why we are particular about this entrepreneurship thing. You cannot imagine an American university recognizing the fact that we have this level of ICT facility. Then, um, Jam will not recognize that we have it. So when Jam were, when they were looking for where to, who to partner with when it comes to the issue of CBT, we are already, we are just, we are there for them to just take on. Because what we even have here, we have over 400 units of laptops. About half a million laptops is what we have in this school. So when the, when the young people came and they saw the level of ICT compliance that we are, they were the first and the only secondary high school in the whole of Ocean State, I don't know about other states, that has a CBT center. So given that as, taking that as a given, you will know that, well, we are not just an, an ICT school, Jam, we are better partners with Jam. We also work with some banks during their ICT, during their CBT exams, computer-based test exams and all that. So, Kunai as it where is a first-class ICT-based school. One of the integral programs at KIS Ushobo, Nigeria, is overseas trips and excursions. This is to adequately expose students and pupils to international standards in education. Mrs. Olanike Adekunle also speaks on this. Memo of understanding from uh, schools abroad, particularly Canada. We have, we have the opportunity of, uh, of uh, signing an MOU with the Canadian government. Not any school in Canada, but the government of Canada itself. So unlike many other private schools out there, they have links with an institution. We have with the government of Canada, particularly in the Delta region of Canada, Vancouver area. And uh, this uh, MOU gives us the opportunity of sending our children in their 11th year, that is after the completion of their 11th year in Nigeria, in Kunai particularly, to Canada where they do their 12th year and obtain the BC diploma that this there is a requirement for admission in Canada and in the US. The unique thing about this is that to acquire this qualification, if you're coming from any other school, not only in Nigeria, even in Africa, you have to do two years to obtain that uh, qualification. But because of this MOU, our children can, can do their year level year and go for just one year and still get the same qualification. The school
school has not taken for granted the importance of library as a repository of knowledge. Its e-library is managed by a qualified librarian and furnished with over 30 million volumes of literary works, research papers, encyclopedia, periodicals and newspapers. KIS operates a system-based space school clinic with a medical laboratory lavishly equipped with ultra-modern equipment for any health challenge. It is aided by a resident medical doctor and assisted by trained nurses in a laboratory technologist. The school laboratory has a state-of-the-heart equipment. At Kunaik International School Ushugu, it is a beautiful home away from home burden system with two to four in a room. The school operates a hostel system with excellent modern facilities including comfortable fully air-conditioned rooms and well-equipped common rooms with monitored cable television, video and other recreational facilities. Alaji Bashiru Oladipo is the Vice Principal of Kunaik International School, Ushubu. He gives vivid testimonies of state-of-the-heart facilities in the institution. He also speaks on religious observance in the school. It's a private, unique boarding and a private secondary school and one of the top most secondary schools we have in Nigeria today. It is located along Elisha Road at OKJ2 in Oshobo. Uh, Facility-wise, our school is located in a serene environment that is secured with um, security personnel fully armed that patrol the school environment both day and night, that is 24 hours of patrol in the school. Uh, that is not all. We have our classrooms that are well spaced and they're spacious enough to have uh, 20 students at a time, especially in the secondary school session. And uh, for the primary, we have about 15 students in a classroom. All the classrooms are equipped with uh, interactive board, internet facilities, there are AC classrooms, and they will have uh, comfortable furniture for the students that provide comfort for the learning. Each of the students have an iPad that is their easy uh, communication and the learning with their teachers. Kunaik is a secular school. Unlike uh, other schools tagged as uh, either Muslim or Christian schools, uh, Kunaik is secular in the sense that there is religious uh, tolerance in the school. We have both Muslim and Christian students in the school, a uh, ratio of uh, 40 to 60 and they are allowed to practice their faith. On Fridays, the Muslims are allowed to observe their Jumat service, either in the school or outside, while on Sunday, the Christians are also allowed to practice their faith. They can do it either in the school or go to a renowned church in the town. The hostel is very um, conducive, um, very acute, very well. and each room we have an AC, which can, we have AC, and in a room, we have two to four people in a room, which each each of the rooms has its own bedroom and toilet, and very spacious for any activity. And in a room, we also have reading tables where in the night, any time of the day, we can read and study for. Mr. Richard Whitebread is the executive school administrator. He speaks on the general administration in the school. Well, teachers, of course, are one of the most important resources in the school. And uh, we have bright young individuals uh, who are quite creative in their approach and their methods. And they try to bring out the full potential of uh, the students both inside and uh, outside of the classroom. Uh, I'm quite happy with uh, their teaching and 
uh, I'm happy with the learning of the students. We have a, a staff-student ratio, which is uh, conducive to a good learning environment. Uh, in the preschool, we have the, the ratio is uh, one to five, and in the primary, it's one to fifteen. And our class size throughout is uh, limited to twenty students, uh, and these uh, small groups, they give an opportunity for um, group work and uh, collaborative projects. Uh, collaboration being one of the uh, 21st century skills that everybody talks about. Uh, in addition, uh, we also try to promote independent thinking skills in our students so that uh, they are not just uh, information gatherers, but they also uh, question and uh, evaluate what, what they are learning. At KIS, meals are carefully planned and prepared for proper nourishment. Breakfast is buffet style, while lunch and dinner provide an array of delicious nourishing meals. The students are also treated to a nightcap before they retire to bed. For a brighter tomorrow, you are enjoined to let your world and child step into the future confidently with a Kunaik International School education experience with never seen anywhere facilities, fully air-conditioned classrooms, adequately equipped and air-conditioned sciences and food and nutrition laboratories, clinic with a resident doctor, state-of-the-art ICT center, unequaled e-library, sufficiently equipped ultra-modern sporting facilities, 